Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe. If um, This is a two-part video. Part one is going to be on the eye look and it's going to be the do's and don'ts. So I'm going to show you some tricks that I do um, to make my makeup for mature skin look a little less harsh, I guess. But again, this is what works for me. If you, what you do works for you, then keep on doing it. And, you know, makeup is all about what makes us feel good. So, you know, just no judgment here. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to see how I created this look, please stay tuned. Thank you. Okay, guys, so the first half of the video, I think I'm going to do it on my eyes. And I'm not going to go exaggerated. I don't want to, I want to do something that would be a normal mistake that, let me straighten out the camera a little bit. Okay. A normal mistake that maybe we can do on our makeup. So I don't want to do something that is going to look clownish, which, you know, most of us try not to look clownish, but just some simple things that we may do, uh, overdo or something like that, that may make us look a little older or, you know, show our wrinkles and lines and creases a little more. So I've already moisturized my face and I am going to use an eye primer and the one that I'm using is the Ulta brand which is very very affordable and it's very nice. It has like a little bit of a tint to it so it would um, actually cover some of the imperfections on your eyelid and it does a good job of holding your um, your eye makeup and not creasing. So I do like this one. This one and the Milani um, eye primer are excellent drugstore or affordable primers. I'm going to try to do most of this look. I think all of my products are uh, drugstore. You can make the same mistakes whether it's drugstore or high-end. So this one is going to be uh, drugstore. I don't think I picked anything that was... Oh, the um, actually the shimmer for the eye is the only thing that is not drugstore but there's plenty of them that are affordable so okay so this is primed so I'm going to use the uh, Milani Bolt Obsessions palette which gives me a good range of shimmers and mattes and I can do a complete look with this <clears throat> so the first thing that I'm going to do is my crease and um, I'm going to use the mirror and the palette so for the crease, oh wait, you know what? I almost forgot. I did not, before I do my crease, I have to set my primer. So I'm going to do with this white color down here to set my primer. I almost forgot. See, I normally never do my eyes first. I always do my face first. So whenever I change my routine, I forget some things. But I'm, this video, I figured it was going to be very long. So I'm going to do part one. It's going to be the eyes. Part two is going to be the face. Okay, so we're all set. So now I'm going to do the crease with this beigey look over here. Light brown, tan, whatever you want to call it. So the thing is to go light. You don't want to do it so that you have a very, very dark line there. And I'm gonna do, this side is going to be the don't do side, and this side is going to be the do side. So, let's see. I'm going to go probably a little darker over here, because it's very easy to do. It's either darker or to go too far in on your line over here and I usually try to keep it so that it goes like here like the beginning of my right where my brow is thicker and it goes thinner I usually try to keep it there now go past that and I try not to go too far into the brow bone So now we're going to go with a little darker color and I'm going to pick this brown one right here. And I'm not going to blend it as much as I should 
um, just to make sure that there's no, that one color kind of flows into the other. It takes a long time sometimes to blend everything. So you have to be patient and you have to be careful. You see how easily you can go into your lid? So you have to be patient or it's going to look muddy on you. I went a little too far into my lid. And that's easy to do if you're doing it in a hurry or, you know, if you're not paying attention. You know, if I don't have a lot of time to do my complete eye look that I normally like, then I just go for something simple. I just use like a one color lid shade and mascara and I'm out the door. I'd rather not put a lot of my eyes than to put up too much and not look right. So I'm trying, going to try to blend a little bit of this on top of it because this is what you, you try to do. You try to make sure that you didn't overdo it. So it still looks like a little patchy there on the side, as you can see. And if you try to fix that, sometimes it can get super dark. But for the sake of the don'ts, we're going to leave it like that. We're going to clean the bottom when I'm done. Uh, for my lid, I'm going to use... I think this color is pretty. This gold one here. And I'm going to use my finger which I do plenty of times. But you have to be careful because when you use your finger, it can be bam. You see how bright that is? I love shimmer. I really don't use glitter on my eye, but I do like shimmer. So I'm going to try to blend it a little bit up here, but I'm gonna leave the lid the way that that came out. And now I want a little more of a pop on my eyelid. Okay, so for the sake of this video, since I didn't have any glitter, a Sephora hat, a 100 point perk of the Stila Glitter and Glow, I think it's called. And it's beautiful. It really is a gorgeous product. But I just think it's too much for my mature skin. Now, if this is something that you enjoy and you use, rock it. That's fine. This is just me. These are my personal preferences. It doesn't mean that if you're doing something different, that's wrong. Makeup is, you know, whatever you want it to be. You know, whatever makes you happy. So this is just what I prefer for my skin, not necessarily, you know, what everyone should do. You know, you may be, you know, younger than me or you, or even older than me and not have, you know, the creases that I do. So the uh, glitter will be fine. So I'm going to put some of this in the middle of my lid, of the glitter. And another thing with glitter, you have to be very careful because sometimes it, you know, you have fallout and I hate to have glitter on my cheeks and you can't get rid of it. It doesn't matter how hard you try with powder or a brush, it just doesn't come off. So this is what it looks like in the middle of the lid. It's a very pretty, pretty color. I think this is called Kitten. Let me see. Yeah, Kitten Karma. So it's really, really beautiful. And once you put the glitter, you really don't want to go over it with a brush. As you can see, I already have fallout under my eye. So I'm going to clean that with a wipe and any fallout that I have from my from my uh, shadows. Now, uh, see the glitter still there. It won't come off even with the white. So now I'm gonna do the dew side. So I'm going to use the same color that I used on my crease, this, this one right here. Okay. And I like to go slow and build. I don't like to go with a lot of color at one time. Slow and build. And I'm taking it as far as my eyebrow, right where the thick part of the eyebrow is. I 
and I'm gonna I'm also gonna do the brows so that you can see how you know you have to be so careful when you do your brows because you can go from natural looking to groucho marks in a quick you know swipe of the of the pencil So I'm going to use the brown color that I used on the other one, on the other eye, the same, but I'm only going to tap it very, very lightly on the tip and start slowly. I start over here at the end on my V on the outer edge of my lid and kind of work it into my crease. I don't go full force. You can see, let me do it this way so you can see it better. I go very lightly on the outside of the of my um, lid and then work it into my crease and I have to work really hard on this one because this is where this is my crazy eye crazy eyelid should I say that make me makes me work super hard to hide that blemish and sometimes it doesn't hide it completely and I finally give up because I don't want to go that dark on my look. So I'm going to take a clean brush and kind of blend everything together so that it's not so harsh and I can always build up some more. So I'm going to put a little more of the brown on the outer V. And I'm more tap it than, you know, I really don't like to go too much like that because then it goes too far into my lid. So I'm more, I tap the color in there and then just make sure that it, it gets blended in. And when you do it like that, you don't even end up with that much fallout on your eye. Now I'm going to go with the initial color that I had, the tan one and kind of go over my crease all over again just to kind of blend everything. Now I'm going to use the same shimmer that I used on the other lid, but first I'm going to try it with a brush lightly. And then if I don't get enough of a payoff, then I'll use my finger. And I tap See the difference between one and the other? One is bam in your face and the other one is a soft glow. So I'm going to take the brush that I used with the brown and kind of mix, go over the line over here so that you can see the demarcation line between the brown and the gold. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glow and it's the same product but this is the Stila, this is the, they call it the shimmer and glow. So there's no glitter in this one. I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle and blend it with my finger. And as there's less product on my finger, I kind of bring it forward a little bit so that everything blends in. Now if you let this one dry, which it doesn't take long at all for it to dry, then you can fix this so that you don't see that line between the brown and the gold. So I'm going to give it a second for it to dry. Now for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and do my, um, I'm going to do my eyebrows first 
and then finish the eye and then I'm going to put concealer and finish the bottom part of the eye, the lower lid. So this is the um, Total Temptation and this is the Maybelline Total Temptation in, uh, what color is it? Medium brown. So I start over here. I'm gonna. This is the don't. So I'm gonna go kind of hard on my brow. And this is so easy to do, especially if I mean I do have a lot of uh, brow hair, but especially I know some people don't have as much brow hair, and you're trying to fill it in. I have glitter all over my face. And, um, you know, it's so easy to go too dark. So, but when you go too dark, it doesn't look natural. And then you kind of lose like the shape of your brow. So this is my Groucho Mark brow. And it doesn't matter how much you brush it, guys. You're not going to take any of that product out. I mean, you do a, a better job of kind of spreading it around, but it's really not going to come off. Okay, then once that's done, I go over my brows with a... Um, a setting brow gel and I always use clear but there are some that are you know they have color now I do use sometimes if I don't if I'm in a hurry I don't want to do my brows I do just use the the one with the that this is medium brown I believe so I do use the one with the the color but if I'm using a pencil I do not use the one with the color because you're just adding more color to your dark brows already so this is and it already kind of took some from the top you see so it's not even looking natural. So since it took some from the top, your natural instinct is to go back with your pencil and fill that again. So pretty soon your eyebrows are gonna be like 4D. Okay, now the do. It's kind of hard for me to do it like this on this side, but so that you can see, I'm gonna try. So you go very softly. You want to do like hair like strokes. Soft. And then I just like to follow the shape of my brow. Softly. I don't I hold it at the end so I don't have a lot of pressure on my pencil. It's kind of hard to put a lot of pressure on the pencil. If you're holding it at the end and then I do the shape at the bottom I mainly just have to fill in some spaces and cover some grays I really don't have to do a lot of building I did try to extend it a little bit because the tail of my uh, brow for some reason has gone away you know, there's so many changes as you get older, as you mature. Oh my goodness. The hair, you lose the hair where you don't want it to lose it, and you grow it where you don't want to grow it. So this is my regular natural brown. It still looks fuller. It looks a lot better than it did before, but you can see the difference between one and the other. This one looks horrible. And then to set it, I use my NYX <clears throat> uh, Control Freak and this is like $10 and it is clear. I wish I had a smaller brush. That's the only thing. I, I love the brush on the L'Oreal. This one is a little big but it's okay. But this is clear so this is not going to add any color to your brow. It doesn't take the color off your brow and it just keeps all the hair in place. So after I'm done with that, that I have my, my uh, brow already made, I always go back and I tweak my brow look, my uh, eye look. 
I'm going to fix a little more over here on the end so that it looks even. I'm going to take the brown color and kind of go over that line so that there's not such a harsh line between the uh, glim the shimmer and the brown. Okay, I am going to take my pencil that my uh, brush that I said started out with. I'm going to do some cleanup. I'm going to put a little more white right under my brow bone. I'm going to do some cleanup over here. Now normally I don't do this until my foundation is on. It's kind of silly to do it now, but I'm not, for the sake of this video, I'm not doing foundation right now. But I am going to go ahead and do my concealer and set the concealer so that I can finish the eye look. So the concealer that I am going to use is the Maybelline Rewind, H Rewind. And I've told you guys before on another video that this is an excellent concealer. And I, don't, I try not to do a lot. As you get older, we all have creases and fine lines under our eyes. And if we put too much concealer down there, eventually it's going to sit in. As it is, it is going to sit in anyway. But the more product that you put down there, the worse that it's going to look. So I just put the bare minimum that I need to cover my panda looking dark circles. And I don't know why I have to open my mouth to apply concealer, but I do. Just like when I do mascara. So I need a little more down here, but I'm not going to put any close to my lash line because that's the part that's going to crease. This isn't going to crease. Okay. And since this is the don't, I'm going to get a little more carried away and put some more on because I want, really want to cover the dark circles. So hey, let's put in a little more. Now if you notice, the lines down here show a little more than the ones over here. Not that these don't show, because they do, but they show a little more. Okay, so now I'm going to set my under eye with powder, and I'm using the, uh, the Cody Airspun. And I just pour some on the cap. And I'm going to do the Dew Eye first, the one that you should do. And you should go very, very lightly. And use as little powder as you possibly can. You just want enough so that your concealer doesn't, doesn't crease. Now on the other side, we're going to go ham. And a lot of people bake under the eye. And they leave it on for a while. And then they sweep it off. I find that when you do that, the creases are more pronounced. So I never bake under my eye. And baking is basically just putting lots of powder under your eye and just wait like five or ten minutes sweep it off and it's supposed to look better it doesn't for me it, it accentuates my um my lines so while i'm waiting for this to wipe it off okay i'm going to go ahead and finish the uh lower lid on the eye that i'm trying to do the way i always do so i took a very small um brush and kind of line the lower lid. I took the dark brown and I'm kind of lining it. Now sometimes I can I also use a brown pencil, but most of the time I do the eyeshadow. I think it's a softer look. And then with another small pencil 
I'm going to take a little bit of this one right here and kind of do the inside part of the lid of the lower lid and bring it a little bit of it towards the top on the top lid and then I take my powder brush and just kind of like blend them both together so there's no harsh lines and then many times I take a nude liner and just do the inside of my eyelid just to bring it a little bit more uh, brightness and makes you look like you're more awake. Now I, thought, I, st I still think it's a little light so I'm going to try to go a little darker. Just on the outside. On the, on the, uh, and kind of connect it to the top. Now I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to use a thicker brush. Oh wait, let me swipe the powder away. Now, which side do you think looks more natural? The one with the lot of a lot of powder or the one with not that much powder? I think the one without a lot of powder looks better. This one is going to it looks cakey. Maybe it doesn't you know, you can't see it on the, in the video on, through the camera, but it looks powdery, it looks cakey, and I really don't like it. So I'm going to take the brown. If you use too thick of a brush, it's gonna, your line is going to come out really thick. Now, if you like that, that's fine. And some people do like a, a thicker line on your lower lid. I don't. I like to keep it thin. I think my eyes are not that big, so if I make it too thick, it looks kind of funny. Kind of looks like I have a black eye. And then we're going to do the same thing with the uh, shimmery color, but we're going to go a little heavier because we like that. We like that shimmer. Have an eyelash here or there. So if you put a lot, it's even kind of hard to just blend it. So now we're going to do mascara. And mascara, I mean, that's, everybody has their own taste as to how they like the mascara. I like to put a couple of coats. I like a mascara that gives me volume and it gives me length. Um, I don't like anything that makes up my eyelashes look long, but then they look thin and skinny. I don't like it when my eyelashes get clumpy and it looks like I just have five lashes. So this one is a very affordable one. This is the um, Essence and this is the Lash Princess and it's only like $5 at Ulta. They also carry it at Target. So this is a great buy. It is not waterproof. It comes off fairly easy. I mean... It comes off with a face oil that I use at night to remove my makeup. Um, it doesn't flake. Now, normally I don't use it on my lower line because 99% of the mascaras that are not waterproof will smudge on my waterline. My lower lash line is very wet, so I think that's why just about everything smudges. But this is a very, very good mascara. For the price, you can't beat it. As you can see, it separates, makes them long, makes them thick. It's very affordable. It's not as good as my Hypnose Drama, but it's right up there. For every day, it's a must. This is one coat, which really you can almost just leave it on one coat. So 
some reason these look the right eye looks thicker than with the one coat than the left eye. I guess it said, hey, you're putting a lot of makeup on me, so guess what? Now I'm not gonna do my lower lash line um, mascara because I'm gonna do the second part of the video which is the face. So when you see that one, you'll see the complete look. So this is the complete eye look. I mean, the right one is not horrible. Um, you know, personally, I don't like that much glitter on my eye, but I guess if you're going out at night, out to a nice dinner, a nice party, it looks nice. But I think it just needs a little more blending and a little more time. So my eyebrow for sure is a no. That looks like, it looks like I don't have any eyebrow and I just use charcoal to paint an eyebrow on my face. So I definitely don't like that. So guys, this is the eye look that I created that do and don't or do it with a little more care. But like I said, this is just my preference. If you like you know, a lot of glitter, a bold eyebrow, go for it. You know, makeup is for fun and makeup is something that we enjoy putting on our face and it makes us happy. At the end of the day, it all washes off. So whatever works for you, that's fine. So I uh, hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you were able to get something out of it. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new, please subscribe. And um, I'll see you on my next video, which would be the skincare, the face part. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.